Want to speak English better? It is easier than you think. Today I'll teach you one special word that can help you to sound and talk more natural. Huh? What is it? Yes, it is get. This one little word can do a lot to improve your daily conversations. Hi friends, welcome back to Understand Real English. I'm your teacher Nia and today we'll learn something really cool. We will dive into just one simple word that unlocks so many doors in English. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We will share more cool tips and tricks to improve your English. Now, let's get started! The first phrase for today is get over. You've got to forgive people before you can get over the hurt. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get over it. Get over means to recover from illness or emotional difficulty. Get over. Get over. Let's take a look at the example. It's hard to get over the pain after the divorce. You've got to forgive people before you can get over the hurt. You've got to forgive people before you can get over the hurt. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get over it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get over it. The next phrase is get in touch with. Get in touch with his folks. How did you get in touch with his wife? Get in touch with means to communicate or contact with someone. Let's try to use it in the sentence. I'll get in touch with you as soon as possible. Get in touch with his folks. Get in touch with his folks. How did you get in touch with his wife? How did you get in touch with his wife? Another phrase for today is get on with. Now you get on with the task. All right, get on with your work. Get on with means to start or continue doing something. Get on with. Let's try to use it in the sentence. We have to get on with our project. Now you get on with the task. Now you get on with the task. All right, get on with your work. All right, get on with your work. Okay, let's move on. The next phrase for today is get down. Get down on your knees and pray to God for help. Sir, get down the stairs, please. Get down means to move from a higher to a lower place. Let's use it in a sentence. We should get down there. Get down on your knees and pray to God for help. Get down on your knees and pray to God for help. Sir, get down the stairs, please. Sir, get down the stairs, please. Okay, on to the next phrase. Get down to. Pull yourself together. Get down to the meeting. So let's get down to the real issue. Get down to means to start focusing on something. Please pay attention that to has a weak form and sounds like to, to. Get down to. Let's take a look at the example. I'll let you get down to work. Pull yourself together. Get down to the meeting. Pull yourself together. Get down to the meeting. So let's get down to the real issue. So let's get down to the real issue. Okay, you're doing great. Let's move on to the next phrase, which is get out of. We've got to get out of here. Get out of the car. Get out of means to exit or leave a place. Please pay attention to the linking. Get out of. Get out of. In both get and out, T sounds more like a D. Get out of. Let's use it in the sentence. Please, get out of my room. We've got to get out of here. We've got to get out of here. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Another phrase with get is get through. I'm just trying to get through the holidays. We will get through this. Get through means to successfully complete something difficult. For example, we need to get through this challenge. I'm just trying to get through the holidays. I'm just trying to get through the holidays. We will get through this. We will get through this. We're almost there. Let's learn a few more phrases. The next phrase is get together. Um, so are we going to get together tonight? When do you want to get together? Get together means to meet with someone. For example, you can tell your friends, let's get together for dinner this weekend. Um, so are we going to get together tonight? Um, so are we going to get together tonight? When do you want to get together? 
when you want to get together. The next one is get something over with. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. Get something over with means to finish something you don't want to do. For example, I just want to get this meeting over with. Let's get this 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 over with. One more phrase for you is get rid of. So get rid of them. Hang on just a second, let me get rid of the other call. Get rid of means to remove or throw away something. Please pay attention to the linking rid of. Rid of. It almost sounds like a one word. Rid of. For example, I need to get rid of these old clothes. So get rid of them. So get rid of them. Hang on just a second, let me get rid of the other call. Hang on just a second, let me get rid of the other call. Great, so the next phrase is get across. I needed to get across the lake to Mahanya Field. You're going to help me get across the border. Get across means to move from one side to another side of something. Here also, pay attention to the linking get across. T sounds more like a D. Get across. Can you hear it? Get across. Let's try to use it in the sentence. I can't get across the road. I needed to get across the lake to Mahanya Field. I needed to get across the lake to Mahanya Field. You're going to help me get across the border. You're going to help me get across the border. Okay, let's take a look at another phrase. Get ahead. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't think you can get ahead by riding our back. Get ahead means to make progress in one's life. Please pay attention to the linking get ahead. Get ahead. Listen carefully. Get ahead. For example, if your friend is really hard working, you can say she works really hard to get ahead. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't think you can get ahead by riding our back. Don't think you can get ahead by riding our back. And another phrase is get around. Well, it takes a bit for me to get around these days. So how do you get around then? Get around means to find a way to solve a challenge. Here also, please pay attention to the linking. Get around. Get around. Let's try to use it in the sentence. I can't get around it by myself. Well, it takes a bit for me to get around these days. Well, it takes a bit for me to get around these days. So how you get around then? So how you get around then? Yes, we did it. And the last phrase for today is get by with. I can get by with one. How do you get by with so little sleep? Get by with means to survive or manage with what's available. For example, we can't get by with the food we have now. I can get by with one. I can get by with one. How do you get by with so little sleep? How do you get by with so little sleep? That's all for today. Great job, everybody. So now think of all cool sentences that you can create with just one word. Do you have a favorite phrase with get? Let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If today's lesson was useful for you, then don't forget to subscribe, like our video and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on our future lessons. We've got a whole bunch of videos for you with tips and tricks to make English learning easy and fun. So keep practicing, explore other valuable lessons on our channel and see you next time!